Hi there, and welcome to The Dow Show for January 23rd, 2019. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really great episode for you today. It's also a really full episode because we haven't had an episode in a while. It was actually October 3rd was our last episode. And since then, we've uploaded over 600 videos from over 45 different events, which we are now going to discuss in depth. Not really. <laughs> uh, no, but... There have been some absolutely fabulous things that have been going on here in the Edmonton area, and we thought that it was about time that we caught you up. We filmed Jackie Beach, Sherry Vine, Battle of the Bitches. We haven't put them up yet, but they are still coming. <laughs> we filmed Tiffany. Yes, we did. Including a little bit of fun with a certain someone, someone. <laughs> <laughs> it was an honor. And as well as Miss Art House. Fabulous show. We filmed shows for the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose. We're a proud sponsor of the ISCWR, and we filmed both events and their productions. We're also very supportive of the Dragon Youth series. We've been involved with them for years, and we love helping give a platform for the children to have somewhere to perform. And of course, you can always see us at the Sunday Reviews at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Absolutely. We are there every single week, capturing it all for you guys. And we also have footage from New Year's Eve from RuPaul legend Monet Exchange and Canadian legend Ray Sunshine. We've been filming all over the city at Chicago's, On the Rocks, Have Mercy, as well as Fargo's. It's been absolutely crazy for the last few months and that's maybe some of the excuse why we haven't been doing an episode. <sighs> There's not a whole lot of excuses. Um, we have been talking to a few people who have been asking us to come back and we um, thought maybe we would try. We can't promise that we will be back every single week, uh, but we will definitely do our best to uh, help continue shine a light on the amazing dragon burlesque scene that's here in the Edmonton area. So obviously we're not going to delve right into 45 full shows worth of material, but we would like to talk about a few things that have happened at least since the beginning of 2019. So here is a brief recap of each of the last three weeks here in the Edmonton Drag Burlesque community. Ivy League hosted League of Her Own earlier this month with special guests Portia Lindahl, Sushi, and Ruby Hyman. I just have a quick word to say about the lighting at um, Have Mercy and at Fargo's and a few other places. When, when a place doesn't have the spotlight, um, it does make it really difficult to kind of pick it up on camera. Um, Unless we were to buy a spotlight and follow the queens around, but, which I don't think we're going to do quite yet at this point. Well, as long as we're not making any money off of it, we're not. So uh, the other option is to film it infrared or something. I don't know. If someone else has another idea, please, by all means, send us a message and let us know. But uh, it has been suggested to us that we not include that footage because it's not really up to standard but I don't believe that because I uh, it's the best that we can do in that situation and we still want the performers to have a chance to see their videos even if it's not crystal clear so that being said um, enjoy the videos for the quality that we have uh, we hope to continue to be able to increase the quality of the videos mm -hmm. as time goes on um, but yes we're going to continue filming those events <laughs> um, one of the events that had good lighting this, this time was Guilty Pleasures. It was a special episode of the Sunday Review hosted by Lady Arcana. Yeah. And she had an all-star cast of Lady Tenderflake and Shayla Zong Naru and uh, Evelyn Knox and uh, a whack of good, amazing performers that had a great time. What did you think? Lady T was really good in that show. I loved both of her numbers. Um, I Dreamed a Dream and Toxic, both really great. Um, Shayla Zahn was really fun. I did poke fun at her for choosing the same outfit and wig as Tiara Manila five mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. She performed that song. It's true. But comparisons aside, you no, know, it was a really fun show by everyone in the cast. It was. I, of course, was backstage for most of it, and everybody was having a great time. So, uh, yeah, congratulations to Lady Arcana on a fantastic show. Check out the videos for that entire week on our channel now. My pick of the week from the Guilty Pleasure show has to go to Lady T for her toxic number. Very nice. 
And my pick of the week is actually from the New Year's Eve celebration at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Ivy League did a fantastic number of Venus with an incredible outfit. Yeah, which was a pop-up, if I remember correctly. It was. The following weekend was yet another busy one here in the Edmonton community with both drag and burlesque events throughout the city. Yeah, I'm so happy that we're doing more burlesque. Um, up this week was Burlesque Superstar Round 1. It was really exciting. I really thoroughly enjoyed Lolita Mignon's number from Burlesque Superstar. Mm -hmm. And I was a big fan of Tommy Rocket. Um, I, I mean, I always am, but yeah, I, uh, I thought Tommy did a, did a fantastic job and the fact that she forgot to take off her shirt, that was just because she was living for it and just forgot. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did great, girl. Uh, major congratulations to Alex the Great, Cherry Monroe, Darla Darwin, Vivian Vanguard, and Scarlet Fusion. Uh, yeah, all five of them did fantastic, and I can't wait to see what they bring to the finale on February the 8th with <gasps> Pheromone! <laughs> oh. oh! Saturday, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose had an event at Evolution Wonder Lounge to raise money for their bursaries called Money, money for, for Knowledge. Knowledge. And it was a fun show, and uh, you can definitely check out all the videos on the channel. They are up now. That's not all. On Sunday, we also attended the first Review Royale All-Stars. Super exciting. I want to give a special shout out to Pheromone. Pheromone Kills with her bird box number. It was really adorable. I absolutely loved it. I just wish that blindfold had stayed on, girl. But I loved it. Uh, what did you think? What was your highlight? Uh, yeah, no, I thought it was a really good show. Um, I thought Gogo -Go was great. I thought Loris was great. Uh, two of the others that really stood out for me was uh, Pocahontas, that's actually in his uh, second number, um, did um, the fat old man that's stuck in my smoke hole in my teepee or whatever the hell it was. The man in the... Anyway, it was a Santa Claus. Anyway, it was hilarious. Uh, it was just wonderful. And the other one that I really enjoyed um, was uh, Margaret Snatcher did one called um, Filler Queen. And she was the one that hadn't been a winner uh, that was kind of stuck into this competition kind of thing. So I thought she played her role to the hilt and I thought her number was cute and funny and, oh, totally. and stuff like that. Because as I said, like she was the one that was just like when the other first place is... Anyway, mm. she was a filler queen. She knew her role and it was a good, it was a good job. My other one that I really liked was Go Go Fetch mm -hmm. Crayons. Um, in fact, fun fact, uh, there were a couple of people that I told specifically, you have to watch this video when it comes out on Drain Your Heels. Before the video was even posted, I was telling people, you got to check this one it's out. True. It's and true. And Go Go eventually won mm -hmm. All Stars. So she won that. So congratulations to Gogo -Go on the first ever winner of All Stars Review Royale winner. That's fabulous. Um, if they ever do another one, Review Royale Redemption or something. I know there's a Redemption few. Redemption Island. Right. I know there's a few people that got second and third that would sure love another chance to come back and try to win. Um, but yeah, anyway, that was some fabulous weekend's worth of, of performances. What was your pick of the week for the weekend? It has to go to Gogo -Go for the crayons. Um, it was so powerful, such a good message, and yeah, crayons. Um, I'm going with my girl Lourdes. Uh, we started all this for her, and I'm, I'm sticking with her on this one, because that was, to me, just absolute perfection. I thought the set was incredible. Um, and congratulations to Eden for her performance in it as well, because it was oh, killer. Yes. Uh, it but was yeah, but, that. yeah, I mean, Lourdes honestly barely is in the number. <laughs> 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 but it was so good. Uh, it was, yeah. Yeah. Love you. Love you. Uh, congratulations to you both and on, uh, on a fantastic show. Well, now that we are all caught up to at least the last week of drag, we can talk about what happened this past weekend here in the Edmonton community. On Friday was round two of Burlesque Superstar, and there were some absolutely amazing performances yet again, and five more advanced to the finale. Yeah, congratulations to Mayla Mustang, Billy Fist, Jacques Von Strapp, Cruella Corbeau, and Sybil Satana. Yeah, no, it was a really fantastic show, and they both of them have, have just been absolutely packed with people, and I can't wait to see what all ten of the finalists are going to bring mm -hmm. uh, on February 8th with special guest, Pheromone! <laughs>
I like, can't wait till she watches our channel and it's just like, fuck them! <laughs> <laughs> fuck those boys. Speaking of fuck them, we've decided to go 18 plus. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect segue. We recently made the decision to go 18 plus. It's true. Um, there's been a few things leading up to it. We had gotten a few uh, official complaints kind of thing by some of... Uh, yeah, in the last few months. There's been some nudity issues, and as we're filming more burlesque, there's going to be more nudity or implied nudity. So we just made the decision to be responsible uploaders and make our channel age-restricted. Now, unfortunately, one of the offshoots of that is we made every video age restricted including the ones of the youth performers at the dragging youth series which we didn't really mean to do so what we have since done is gone back and fixed those so at least those videos are all free for absolutely anybody to look at uh, anytime they want so uh, the underage performers can actually look at their own videos speaking of those dragging youth series crew yeah we were there on saturday and it was yet another fantastic show filled with some fabulous energy and mm -hmm. great fun and so um, much fun it was hosted by teen jesus barbie who did an amazing job at hosting fabulous job um i definitely think they'll be bringing her back she she did a really good job and really connected with the performers and the yeah. kids in the audience there's and, a lot of audience interaction when tjb hosted yeah it was it was a very well very well done by her um but yeah the show was good um we had some absolutely incredible uh, new performers First out. First timer performers uh, out. And, and not just because of their names, but like some of the names of these kids. Like We love some of the names that came uh, about. Yes, <laughs> another gay Kyle <laughs> made their debut this past Saturday. And also making his debut is Hey, It's Ethan. Hey, It's Ethan! <laughs> Which is pretty great. Uh, Mothman also did a really good number. And I also would be remiss if I didn't bring up... It, the theme was Saturday Morning Cartoons. And uh, Connie Lingua was one of the few that actually followed through on the theme and did a She-Ra Princess of Power number. <laughs> that was just to die for. Yeah. So you definitely need to check that out because it was... Tremendous. <laughs> yep. Also worthy of checking out is Babby. Yeah, yeah, we love Babby. And it was funny because TJB even said it afterwards. She was just like, were you not getting go-go vibes there? And I'm like, yes, we know. <laughs> <laughs> we love the Babby. Uh, but yeah, so uh, definitely check out all the videos from the Dragon Youth series available now on the channel. But that's not all. What else? Because also on Saturday... We had Hail Mary that evening. Yes, we did. We don't have the videos for that yet, but videos will be coming soon to the channel, so stay tuned for that. Exactly. Our intrepid videographer, Dean, was there to capture those events, so as, we, as soon as we can connect with him, we will get those videos to you. And that's not all, because also on Saturday, um, myself, Bambi Dextrous, attended and filmed the Show Us Your Newbies January edition. So excellent to see that show. Uh, it was hosted by Darla Darwin, who we love. She was a phenomenal host. She really was. Like so the, strong. Like every time she came on the mic, I was just like, oh, nicely done. So strong. <laughs> yeah. And it was headlined by Lily Minx. Mm -hmm. And she did this fabulous uh, praying mantis number, man eater. It was amazing. Lily's fun. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Again, check out those check videos. Check out those videos fabulous time and we're, we're so thankful that the uh, the burlesque community has embraced us and wants us to come out as often as they do so uh, yeah definitely uh, check them out and we'll see you again in February for the next show mm -hmm. then we came back for Sunday for the Sunday review like we'd missed one of those <laughs> and it was the Shailazong's Broadway review yes it was it was a very special episode of the Sunday review hosted by Shailazong Lurie and they did all Broadway numbers yeah we haven't had a Broadway show for a while it has been that, a while so um nice to see that genre come back it was um it was it was interesting to see a lot of the cast was the same cast that had been there two weeks ago this um, is true. there may have been a little bit of a holdover of a bit of that I maybe would have personally liked to have seen a few different people just for in the variety, show, just for a bit of variety. But that's really no here nor there. The ones that were there had a great time, and they they knocked it out of the park. Yeah, um, the audience was absolutely killing it, and and I again was backstage for most of it, and everybody was having such a good time. It was such mm -hmm. a positive energy and supportive, and 
uh, it's a really good group of queens back there. So uh, congratulations to all of them on a fantastic show. And I, I just have to say, I love lots of the numbers. Mm -hmm. I love them all. I, I just got to give a special shout out to Sephora mm -hmm. for memory. Oh, yeah. And that dress and the, the song, it was just all tied together. Did you know together. Cats? I don't actually know Cats, mm -hmm. but it was very like... That's the ballad from, from okay. Cats. Okay, it was special to me. I hadn't yeah. seen it before. Mm -hmm. I also haven't seen Rocky Horror Picture before, mm -hmm. and she also did a Rocky Horror number. Which is well. fun. Right? So... You can check her out. You can check me out performing with her backstage <laughs> in, the, in the DJ booth, because I was rocking it out for some of the some of the Rocky Horror. Uh, but yeah, it was a really fun show. Someone else that I really enjoyed in this show was Evelyn Knox, I always do. Uh, but girl, please, I, I tip you fairly regularly. Let's invest some of that money in some panties. <laughs> but no, you are great. Um, a lot of the musicals were, or from Broadway musicals that I had never heard of before. Mm -hmm. So it was great to get that experience. And I did like up. that people dug a little deep. They, they, did, they didn't just do the big, obvious numbers. And maybe drum up some some and maybe drum up some enthusiasm to see some of these mm, musicals right? absolutely absolutely so again congratulations to Shayla Zahn and the entire cast on another fabulous Sunday review what was your pick of the week from that week I actually am going to go with Myla Mustang's kiss me from the uh, burlesque superstar show on Friday um, I thought it was just fabulous and I mean it was props it was sexy mm -hmm. it was like it was just it was so good and like you need to see this video it's fabulous yes. I remember the props were crazy during that number fabulous <laughs> what about you my pick of the week will go to Jacques von Strapp mm. for his lose control number very nice uh very well done during the burlesque superstar and just really well done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Jacques always performs really well and has a good time. And again, we just recently um, had him in the uh, Hellish Holiday Cabaret before. So good. It was such a good show that I had to upload the solo numbers as well. Right on. So you can see the whole production as well as the individual songs. So those are some of the 600 plus videos that we've we uploaded up. since October that <laughs> you can now check out on our channel. So please do so after we tell you about what's coming up next week. On Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, the Gay Feminist Agenda has a drag burlesque show hosted by Ivy League. Sounds like it's going to be a really fun time, so you should check it out. On Saturday, we're both going to be at On The Rocks for No Variety. Ferris Fair will be performing. I'm going to be filming that show, of course. It is the second of No Vagina's series at On The Rocks, uh, and she always includes drag, burlesque, and live singing. Um, it's going to be a fun time, so yeah, please feel free to check it out, and if you need tickets, hit me up. However, also that night at Evolution Wonder Lounge, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose is having their turnabout event. Um, it's going to be turnabout, it's a gender-bending evening, as well as... As opposed to the other 364 <laughs> days of the year in our organization. <laughs> as well as it's rumored to be mashed up with Winterfest. Yeah! Which you and I have history with Winterfest for the last few years we filmed mm -hmm. that. So... We've always enjoyed being a part of that and mm -hmm. filming that for them. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's exciting. We're, we're looking forward to, to that and we will definitely be heading over to that as soon as the No Variety Show will be done. At the station on Jasper, Fruit Loop is having their winter ball, and our intrepid videographer Dean, Dean is going to be there to film that for us, so we are excited to check out the footage from that. On Sunday, we are back at Evolution Wonder Lounge for the Sunday review, a very special episode. It is Imani's Club Kid review. Super exciting, so it's all the Club Kid queens that will be performing that night, including Goblin Dix, Andrew Ginny, Sushi, Eden Out, Andrew Ginny, um, Hera, and the no debut of Yelanka. Yelanka, Yelanka. We are super excited to check her out, and uh, it'll be a nice little preview for what we have in store for the upcoming Anne's performances, mm -hmm. I'm sure. 
So it's going to be a fantastic show. You should definitely think about being there. Uh, it's always a good time. It's just $5 and that money always goes straight to the performers. A little bit further down the road, as we have already mentioned, Pheromone will be coming to be the guest judge for Edmonton's Burlesque Superstar on February 8th at Evolution Wonder Lounge. It's going to be a fantastic time. Right? Amazing. Uh, the very next night, back at Evolution Wonder Lounge, there's another event. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So the very next night on February 9th is the King and Queen of Hearts pageant. That'll be hosted by myself, Rexy Resurrection, and Colin Bay, our current reigning Kings and Queens of Hearts. Mm -hmm. And we have a brand new pageant lined up with all new contestants and performers. So it's going to be a really great night with the proceeds going to the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose. Right on. And is the pageant full or is like is it too late now or could somebody nope. still... You can still apply as of this time. By, this is, by the time that this is posted, you can still apply. You have until February 1st to submit your application with the court and be in the running to be the next King or Queen of Hearts. How do you apply? You can contact myself, Rexy Resurrection, or Colin Bay, or any of the Upper House if you would wish to apply for King and Queen of Hearts. Sounds good. Maybe we'll even put a link down below. Nice. Um, one more show that I want to talk about before we get away um, is the Doe Show. <gasps> what? What? But we're watching the Doe Show. Um, the Doe Show Live is happening. What? It's like Race Chaser Live for you other podcast fans like me. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Dome Show Live is happening on March the 10th at Evolution Wonder Lounge. We take over the Sunday review. And the idea behind it is is we are taking creative control. Putting videos on our channel. Videos that we want to see. Exactly. So we're not strong arming, shall we say, people into doing some numbers. Family oh, made me do this. <laughs> but we're putting some mild suggestions towards some people of numbers that we might think might look good on their on their playlist. Um, it's going to be a fantastic night, and I just want to say some of the performers that we already have, we've mm -hmm. got Melinda Verga, we have Christy Healy, we have Godiva, we have Tequila Mockingbird, Chelsea Horrendous, Cat Marlowe, Ivy League, Twiggy, Davina Die For, Carried Away, yes. I think that's it. Plus, uh, the whole Doe crew will be performing as well. Yep. So that's going to be a fantastic show, and uh, we definitely hope that you will be there if you are anywhere within the Edmonton region. Please. I mean, you better be there, because we'll be there. Right? We'll be that's... there. What more reason do you need? Anyway, we hope to see you there and out at any of these drag events between now and then. Please, feel free to come up and say hi. We're often the ones that are in these yep. kinds of shirts. And we are very excited to be back on the YouTubes with the Doe Show. It's been a hot minute since we've been on, so this will now be a regular thing. We'll we be hope. Back. Until I get tired again. <laughs> 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 Thank you for watching, as always. Yes, until next time. Bye! Bye.